so I want to welcome you back to my studio. And this is part two of the autumn reset. Um, so last time I talked to you about, you know, kind of getting a little stagnant and maybe how we shift and how we change gears and if, if you're feeling a little bit stuck or, uh, you know, your work's feeling maybe a little like repetitive, um, which happens to all of us. I mean, it may not seem that way to the outside world looking in, but sometimes it can feel that way for an artist. So yeah, just kind of shaking things up a little bit and talking about how to get kind of jolt out and move into a different phase or a different, for me, it's a different season. These things kind of change gears for me. So I did a very crisp, clean blue swipe to kind of like refocus and then today I'm going to do something kind of crazy sort of like out of the box um, that's been in my head for a while but like building the paint colors that you know these different ideas floating around and I love this because it was just really fun and kind of spontaneous and just you know the, the fun part of fluid art can sometimes be just these moments of letting go and uh, seeing what seeing what's going to happen. So I hope you enjoy it and uh, I'll get you on to the colors and the canvas and I'll show you the, the uh, dry results at the end. <laughs> showed you that grouping of colors and I'll talk a little bit about them here. That's a white and then that's like a cloud over mix. That's the black cell activator. And then um, a lot of these are prism pour. So that was a prism pour color, another prism pour. You know, honestly, these have been sitting around for a while, so I can't tell you exactly. Most of them are mixed with just some Floetrol, GAC 800, Liquitex, kind of how I mix my puddle paints, uh, but, you know, leftover paints sometimes end up on these different trays and kind of build some color palettes around them. So they're all very similar consistency. That is a, that's one of the prism pour colors, kind of one of their iridescence. And then that's actually Modern Masters, um, like their antique bronze. And I really, I really like this one too. That's another prism pour color. So just kind of experimenting with these paints to see what they do in a different application. Um, I don't really use them for my, for my uh, pearl paintings, but they're really interesting. And they've got a lot of very pretty pigment and iridescence with them. So kind of pairing them with some like muted, colors and some that like pale beige pink cloud color to kind of ground them a bit and I'm just going to spin and play and I pour a few extra cups on the side and kind of splash them on top as well and this was just really fun so I hope you enjoy it all right guys take take it great great care and I'll talk to you soon all right bye
touched the 